In this series of podcasts about Wilder Verso, um, I want to focus on different aspects um, of Verso and some of the different things it enables in the classroom that really make it quite unique. And in this first in the series, I really want to look at um, why Verso actually allows for responsive rather than predictive teaching. For many teachers that are engaged in flipped learning, there's a steep tech learning curve. And because of this, we often see teachers spending a disproportionate amount of time developing instructional content in advance of the lesson for students to view at home. And that usually takes the form of video or podcasts that have been created or curated by the teacher. Now, the beauty of the flip lies in what happens within the lesson space. And creation of that five to ten minute video shouldn't be taking you up a disproportionate amount of time. And the majority of teacher effort really ought to be directed to class time, as this is where the teacher has the most value. And this is also in direct proportion to the question of who owns the learning in the classroom. The teacher, in setting and creating instructional content via the flip is demonstrating or even reinforcing the old paradigm that the learning and the learning journey is clearly owned by the teacher. Now, the time it takes to generate content for viewing outside the lesson leads to teachers creating prescriptive linear sequences of online content supported by in-class activities. It's an example of where technology has really become the master, as the time it takes to produce a video, place it in an online environment such as Moodle, Edmodo, Life, for students to access, means that the production usually has to happen when teachers have got more time. So that generally is in the holidays or at weekends. Now... This results in the prescribed journey that they create from video one, two, three, four, being based on predictions and assumptions about what the students are going to need, um, rather than in response to students' needs that have been identified through access to feedback in class or in those online conversations. So why seek visibility on student learning if you're not going to respond Um, to what you see and we're not going to bring back awe and wonder by spoon feeding and developing those prescribed journeys so how can we expect students to engage in learning when they're being forced down a narrow path prescribed and designed by the teacher where Dan Pink's motivational factors of autonomy mastery and purpose you know are quite clearly being ignored we run the risk of using technology to automate the 19th century paradigm that's that's increasingly irrelevant to today's students. It's a clear case of automation rather than innovation and totally at odds with the needs of contemporary learners and, and their relationship with knowledge. Now, I recently found these images and for me, they represent where many teachers are heading in terms of the flip. I believe the technologies they're using are really in line with Stephen Heppel's thinking that we've been using technology in the 20th and 21st century to perfect a 19th century paradigm. And unfortunately, as Einstein says, if you always do what you always did, you'll always get back what you always got. So Why Verso really excites me is its capacity to move beyond the predictive, linear and prescriptive industrial model to a model that supports diversity, choice and personalised learning. So Verso for me is about developing relationships um, within the classroom, but also relationships with knowledge. It's in direct opposition to the distance learning model that underpins some of the some of the poor examples of flipped learning. So, Verso's capacity to create and share content on the fly, its immediacy is exciting because content can be developed within the lesson with students in response to what has just happened in class. It's responsive as opposed to predictive.
The content that is pushed to students via Verso can now be born of the classroom. It's directly related to student experience and offers challenges that are tailored to moving every student from where they are right now, based on what's just happened in class, to where they need to go next. So content with Verso is no longer king. Verso supports great pedagogy. It supports the teacher rather than forcing them to behave in certain ways because the technology, by definition, is labour-intensive. Verso, completely on the flip side of that, frees a teacher to be the best they can be. If you want to know more about Verso before September 15th, visit our website at www.flipyourthinking.net or be part of the movement by joining our Facebook or Twitter communities.